Hello and welcome, I am Beetle92 and today we're going to be continuing our adventures as Ayutahaya in Southeast Asia trying to get the achievement The White Elephant. We're getting really close, I think, maybe not this episode, but the next one. I, honestly, whenever we finish integrating Divet, we'll probably end up getting the achievement. Well, that's not true, we also need to attack Dali. So, what we have to do is we have to finish killing uh, Lanzang and we have to finish, filling, or we have to finish integrating Divet and then we have to take one province from Dali. And for those of you who haven't watched my previous videos and don't know what the White Elephant is, it's the achievement where you have to get all of Indochina, which is this region, and Burma, which is this region, as Ayutthaya. Um, and we just finished up wiping up uh, all of the... there were three little states over here that we ate. Um, and now we're going to finish uh, Lanzang and Divet and then go for Dali. So we are currently trying to integrate uh, Divet. Which has a crap ton of uh, development. There's also the problem that they have in their national traditions increased coin costs, which is making all of this much, much more expensive, but that's okay. Um, so it's going to take us quite some time before we actually finish integrating them. They have. How much do they have actually? Um. They have 85 development, but that's being increased in cost by 50%, which is why it's, you know, costing as much as it is. So, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, try to cut them off. And if you haven't noticed already, Ming has completely exploded. They are just getting absolutely wrecked. Yaren is making a, a pretty good run at becoming Manchu, it looks like. Um, we're going to do some charity. And Japan is being Japan. I kind of want to ally Japan, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, nice. 642. That's 12 points total, which is not bad at all. That's a 4 for 4 just uh, rebalanced. And Nepal is going after Tibet. Orissa is becoming pretty powerful. Um, it looks like there hasn't been another really powerful Indian state that's developed. There's Delhi, Wanpur, Bamanas, and Gujarat. I think probably two of these four will come out on top. And we still haven't seen what's up with the uh, Europeans. Bukhara is formed. I don't know. I kind of want to see what's going on with Europe. I bet it's something weird. Uh, I used to hire Luz's core on Shia. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't want to anger my uh, vassal there. And as soon as our karma ticks up relatively high, we need to get our karma uh, pretty high before we uh, go ahead and attack Lanzang because I don't want to let my Diplo rep slide down any further. Uh, this is already going to take quite some time. We're spending, or actually uh, spending quite a lot of Diplo points on integrating them. Uh, they're doing a great job. No, they're doing fine. We're not going to fire them. What are you talking about? Ming has accepted peace with Manchu. This is awesome. The one province minor Manchu attacked Ming. Which is ridiculous. And they just white pieced out. We got Korean Separatists there, Yaren Pretender Rebels, Korea might get some of its land back. These guys are just all over the place. Holy crap. And we are going to have to attack Dali, which is kind of sad because I really like Dali. I like seeing, you know, all of the Ming Revolter states pop out, but I, we're going to have to attack them. They have a province that we need. Um, I actually would really like to play a game. I'm sure there's a mod or something that just starts with Ming like this, and I think that would actually be really interesting to play with, but... I mean, you could go in manually and just release all of the vassals, but... Uh, Ming will sing, seed a bunch of land with the Oirat, we will gain karma and lose prestige, so we're up to 7 karma? Yes, 7 karma. And as soon as we hit, like, you know, 25, 30, somewhere around there, we'll declare war on Lansan, which will hopefully happen before 1529 if we just keep taking the positive karma ones. How are everything going over here? We got Kutai. I wonder what they have. Administrative ideas. Mahajapit. Administrative ideas. Javan traditions. I really like playing as Malaya. Playing as one of these countries and just going for like naval expansion. I'll probably do that at some point too with Mare Nostrum. Oh, if you haven't guessed yet, we're playing on Mare Nostrum. I realize I should have mentioned that at some point. <laughs> it feels like we're pretty pretty late mentioning that, but we are playing with Mare Nostrum. And I think I'm going to go with Aristocratic Ideas. So we can get our own core creation costs and mercenary maintenance. 
And you know what I haven't done anything with so far, and I really probably should at some point, is uh, Condottieri. I kind of forgot that I could use those, because, I don't know, it didn't seem super important at any point. I feel like in Europe, Condottieri makes a lot more sense than in a lot of other places. India, too, probably. Condottieri would make sense, but not in here so much. It makes more sense with all the little states. When you have a bunch of little states all running around, and they, uh... Old Rival Recovers. Excellent! Oh, that's actually really good. He's not a statesman, I don't think. Or he's not a diplo rep guy. I think he's a... a better... Yeah, he's better relations over time guy. If he was a diplo rep guy, we would, we would absolutely uh, use him. 17... I think we can actually get a Diplo rep guy. No, that's a better relations over time. I, th I think? Statesman. You're a diplomat. Is the nobility one a statesman or a diplomat? Diplomat. Yeah. Yeah, we want a uh, statesman. A man of the state. A man of the states. Let's go ahead and since we do have some downtime here, we can actually worry about our navy. Let's go and check out our navy. Send it back to Atuyahai, blah, 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 blah. Our capital, our country's name, Atu Mahaya Managamana. And we don't really want a galley. I don't think we want cogs. Let's build a bunch of barks. And actually, I'm going to build some Karaks. Because I want to have some, you know, like, if someone were to declare war on us, I would like to be able to say, no, this is my sea, or the, this is my sea tile. I totally forgot that we actually have a 10% discount from Humanist Ideas. That's awesome. Yeah, so instead of, we're not going to take any military, tech, military uh, technology levels. Instead, we're just going to power through aristocratic. Um, which shouldn't take us very long, get the military technology cost, and then go back to military ideas. And we will be slightly weaker in the short term, but I think having... Because this will, this will total out to being like a 24% tech cost reduction, um, and that'll save us a lot of monarch points over the long term, and it's definitely something worth doing in my opinion. So let's get these guys protecting trade in Siam. Not that we have any real competition in Siam, but whatever. And we do want to eventually... I mean, this is kind of the bad thing about this, uh, this uh, conquering this region, is that half of our trade power is in Siam, and the other half is in Bengal, and the only way to link those two is to go through Malacca. So if we want to really effectively control trade here, we need to conquer Malacca and um, route trade through there. But that's a whole... We have to go down here, and this is like Sunni and Hindu, which is just annoying. Yeah. Ming is exploded. I love it. I love it. We actually do need some allies, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's ally with Shu, just because we are going to have to attack Dolly, so that sounds like it'll be helpful. And we've got Diplo Rep still, so we just need another event or two. And we'll send those navies over here. And so this is our actual, like, navy. <laughs> we are definitely going to incorporate dive that. Uh, the local aristocracy in Crady seems to have been growing quite powerful over the last few years. Are we, while we retain nominal control over the area, much of the real power lies with the local landowners who have been known to grow their domains at the expense of monastery land. This practice, along with other excesses, may well be used against them, but in order to achieve the full effect, we would probably need to embellish the truth a little. There are those who would be willing to do just that for us in exchange for nice position and administration afterwards. No, we're going to find another way. And that does put us over 27 karma. So we will then attack Lanzang. Oh, shoot. She was allied with them. Well, that can't be helped. 
Oh well. That cannot be helped. And now we're back down to 17 karma, which means we still get the uh, Diplo rep from it, so we're still on course for 1529. And yeah, this should be actually a very easy war. I'm actually going to drop maintenance back down. Squish. Squish. Oh god, that's we just took so much attrition. This is a really bad idea. We're just wasting manpower. Oh god. <laughs> that was really, really, really uh, bad play from me. But we're sitting at the cap anyways, or we were, we were sitting at the cap. So it's not like we're losing that much. Wow, 41. Look at that. Wow, we actually can't afford to grow much larger than we currently are in terms of our army size. This uh, shoe coming into this war actually will be a little bit problematic just because we do need to... We probably can't full annex them unless we go deal with shoe a little bit. Let's add, since we do have so much extra force limit, I'm going to go ahead and add quite a few more troops. Uh, no. Yes, I know, you're upset. Piss off. I don't particularly care. Alright, so we got that done. Um, but yeah, now we do have to go deal with Shu. And I'm going to raise maintenance back up. Yeah, now we're actually losing money because we just massively expanded our army. And we're not over the force limit or anything, but still. And I'm actually going to split this in two and see if I can find a way... Yeah, access... Uh, ask for military alliance. So we'll send one there. And one there. It's always a good moment when you're playing a campaign and you get to the point where you actually have to start splitting up your army. That's how you know that you've kind of hit the, uh, the high point. Or not the high point, but like... You, you've gotten large enough that you, you know, are in a good position. And then you get to, like, the point where you're in Russia and you have to split your army up ten times to do anything. And we just need to do enough damage to shoot a piece him out. We're not looking. I actually still want to be friends with him in the long term. Um... But we are going to have to knock him out of the war pretty quickly. Negative 12. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. As soon as this uh, siege is done, I think we'll be able to do it. Yearly army tradition. That sounds good. Ah, uh, no. I'm not going to do that. Ooh, okay. Maha Chakrapat's army reforms. King Maha Chakrapat has proposed various reforms for our military for forces, including the training of a full-time professional elephant brigade. How badass is that? Um, while many of these proposals make great sense, they will also be expensive and may cause unrest. What shall we do? Uh, go with reforms, where we get 300 military power, or gain stability. Let's go with 300 military power. I feel like... The flavor text says it may cause unrest. I feel like if it says that, then you should actually, like, lose stability or uh, gain national unrest when you take the, the thing. But, I don't know. That's just me. Um, we'll just uh, have you in all treaties. I, just, I want you to not uh, have... I want your only friend to be me. You're not going to have any friends that aren't me. And we'll just annex you directly. Yeah. And send you guys back. Send you somewhere where you won't suffer a bunch of attrition. And drop you guys down like that. That seems good. I will also reduce inflation. I like to keep it under 4% if possible. Pasai is in a war again. Not a big surprise. You guys are still set to aggressive. I like how I'm just like, oh yeah, no, my vassals will go help you out. I can't be bothered to, but my vassals will do it. Um, oh, why are we actually at... 
Oh, because we just um, we just honored the call to arms. So that's we can actually go ahead and levy the tax because we want to keep our karma uh, between twenty-five and negative twenty-five. Arakan, and then let's build spy network here. Um. Yeah, I think as soon as our spy network is of sufficient size, we'll go to War with Dolly since we're good on manpower and it. We don't have a lot of other things uh, stopping us there. We don't even actually have any. Uh, <laughs> we don't even have separate or uh, unrest in these provinces, which is completely ridiculous. We will accept this idea. We actually now have two more diplomats, so we we have the diplomats. Uh, let's go with counter-espionage there. Uh, eh. I don't know what else we really want to do right now. We'll just leave a diplomat free. I always end up in the situation where I just have diplomats sitting around not doing anything. And I feel bad because I feel like I should be doing something with them, but at the same time, I don't really have anything I want to be doing with them. So, Hey, look at Korea. They actually took their provinces back. I wonder if... Oh, hey, there we go. I was just going to say, I wonder if they're going to form Manchu. And boom, they form Manchu. So, do they get claims from that? Yeah, they have cores. They have a bunch of cores, which is good. I really hope they form King. I never see it. King is so rare. Or, I think it's King. I don't know the proper pronunciation of it, but... I wish I could rival Dolly, but I guess they're too small. Um, no, we're going to fabricate a claim on... I actually already have a claim on that, so we'll just go with De Hong. And I'll wait for, like, Sing Bogsanagama. Whatever this is called. Sing Sibsong Banna. Sibsong Banna. And we'll raise our maintenance back up. Send a dude there. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Cool. Yay. We're a marriage. Um, you're at 15 Diplo rep. And yeah, that seems fine. Let's wait a month to declare the war. Sure. We'll invest in the docks. I We're not going to use them very much at all, but we'll invest in them. And what is our tech level? Tech 8, tech 8. So we're fine on that. We're at the same tech. And they're allied with our economy, but that's not going to be a huge problem. Oh, we have military access. We have to cancel that. Don't want any of that. Cool. <laughs> Promising trader. Yay. I don't know. I Like I've said before, I don't think those events matter very much. They don't really change how I play at all. I've never had one fire and be like, this is exactly what we need. Um, heck. Gamati log, yeah. So let's really quickly go through and look at the forts. There's just the two, okay. Um, in that case, I'm actually going to send one guy down there so he can take out the Erekon army and then uh, siege down. Wow, that's a terrible leader. That is almost worthless. Yeah, this, this fight will go very, very quickly. And later on, I'm going to add more cannons to this mix, but I they don't do enough early on for me to think that it's really worth it. Take this, go there. Uh, that is jungle across a river, so we'll be suffering a negative two, but I don't think it'll be that bad of a deal. Yeah, especially with the cannon advantage. They don't do a lot, but they do something. And we'll send those guys to Dolly. Uh, let's go ahead and put our fleet there, just so that they can be blockading it. And other than that, our vassals are just going to go to town. You still haven't fabricated claims, by the way, have you? Nope. You're useless.
ba -da -dun -dun. I like this song. Ride forth victoriously. It's a good song. We have won the Siege of Dali. Come on, Japan. We should be friends. Oh, I guess we don't have the common rival of Ming anymore, so it's a little bit less likely. Um, we're probably gonna have to look for friends inside the ruins of China. And I would uh, totally ally Nepal, actually. They're either with Kachar, but if we're gonna fight Orissa, then we probably do want to ally them. Come on. Select them already. I do think Orissa is one of the countries that we'll probably attack next um, once we get the achievement. If we keep playing past the achievement. I mean, right now, I'm not sure if we're going to um, play past it at all, but... Alright, so I do want that. Oh, god. Let's demand that independently, not with the, the rest of the war. And what's our karma at? Negative 13. So let's see if we can avoid taking more than 12 karma. 9. That would be 12. That would drop us down to negative 20, I think. But let's just do this. Or actually, you know what? This will give us karma if we spend some of our war score like that. Which means we can take these provinces now. Because we released Yi. Um, and we could actually give a bunch of points. Yeah, why not? We're not going to have that province anyways, so. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we've maximized how much land we can get out of it. We still have the Diplo Rep bonus. Um, we did have to use some of our war score for things that weren't directly conquest, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And... These are Theravada provinces, which is awesome. We are going to run into Confucian at some point, but that's not a big problem. They're also going to be... Um, they're at plus three, so it's it's fine. It's not an issue. Drop down army maintenance, so we're not spending all the money. And two years. Suryothai. The loss is too great for the heart. We fear it might break in two and never be whole again. Our dear queen, Suryothai, has died, sacrificing herself to save our king. She rode beside him on a small war, war elephant, together with their daughter, Princess Boromo de Hoc, both dressed in armor and helmets. That's really badass. Uh, Montenegro was mounted on his chief war elephant when the enemy attacked. His elephant panicked and charged away from the new commander who gave chase, but Suryotha charged ahead and blocked his pursuit. The commander attacked her with a spear, fatally cleaving her from shoulder to heart, and wounded Princess Boromo de Hoc also. Both died on the elephant, and it was not until their helmets fell off and exposed the long hair that the enemy commander realized he had fought a woman. The enemy was driven back the bodies of Princess Barba Hudok and Queen Sunir Bata Ayutthaya to be buried in there. Wow. That's really badass. I mean, that's sad, but it's, it's pretty badass. Ye. Ye traditions. Maybe we could vassalize them. We actually probably could. I don't know if they have... They have some cores. Or, uh, Confucian this time, too. Yeah, let's do it. I'm all for peacefully vassalizing people. 1529. So yeah, as soon as that's done, uh, we should get the achievement. Yeah, we're really close. Why are we still losing money? Because of our forts? Because of our advisors? I don't know. We aren't making as much money as we really should be. Oh, we're rooting out a crap ton of corruption. I see. I understand. I understand. That's... I always forget about that, but no. That's totally... That makes sense. Uh God. Yeah, we'll reduce trade investment, and then I'll just grant you guys monopoly charters. I am not as big a fan of mercantilism as everyone else apparently is. I think it's... 
Like, all it does is increase how much money you make, but a lot of times, once you get into the late game, you have way more money than you actually need anyways. So, I don't see the, you know... I don't know. I don't think it's quite as good as it sometimes is portrayed to be. You would offer vassalization. Or you would accept an offer of vassalization. Key declared war upon Ming. Really? Huh. Go figure. Oh no, the alliance is breaking with our vassal. Whatever shall we do? Yeah, I don't care. September! Come on! May, June, July. Our army organizer is dead. Um, yeah, we will go ahead and gain karma from that and throw. Yeah, discipline. That seems good. Integration is a slow process. And now we're just waiting on that. I uh, will go, go with Conquer Daka. Divet have changed the capital a bunch of times. And we definitely don't need to um, make those a different culture. They're a different, uh, different religion. That's fine. Nice. What am I... there. So that's strange. They actually turn into territories, not states. That doesn't seem right to me. Oh no, it is... They are states, they just, um... We, we have full cores, they just default to states. That's fine. So now we have our, our kind of base is Indochina, but we also have, you know, all of these over here. And I will go through and spin down some of our points just to core these. And that seems fine. And that'll probably increase our force limits by a fair amount. Yeah, that goes up by 90. Oh no, we've lost Mon. Wow, we just gained a lot though. And let's go ahead and give this to the Monastic Orders. Yeah, we'll just hand all these over to the Monastic Orders. Because I do want to convert those eventually. Um, you will go to the Nobility. You already have the Nobility. Um, I'll just start giving random provinces, I guess. Excellent. And we now actually can convert the Hindus, which I will do. And hopefully that'll help solve our, uh, our uh, lack of income. The White Elephant! There we go! Excellent! Alright, and that's good timing because we're at 28 minutes and some number of seconds. So, thank you guys for watching this relatively short Let's Play. Not a very long one. We did play at relatively high speeds, but uh, we got it in 1529. Um, I have really enjoyed this. I think it's been a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. There is going to be more of this on my channel. I'm definitely going to keep doing this because I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. I'm going to take a break from recording. I'm not going to record anymore. If I get positive feedback, I will continue. We, we, we can continue playing this um, and go into India, go into China, go into Malaysia. I don't know. We'll do what we want. We might do something crazy. We might decide to invade Japan. Um... But yeah, so if you guys want to see me keep playing this, please let me know in the comments. If you want me to play something else, go ahead and say that too. If you have a suggestion for a country you'd like to see me play, I am more than open to suggestions. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I've had an awesome time. I hope you've had an awesome time, and I will see you in the next one.